Wow, what a very, in, what a very good day I kind of did have with everything that's going on tomorrow. <clears throat> Pardon me. Everything that's happening for tomorrow is just gonna be odd with every mother that I are leaving now, but some of them I do now. And we had to prepare for it today, and I just don't like talking about my emotional feelings to the camera. But sometimes when you have to deal with bad things, or I should, and in this case, I should say sad things, put on some music that you can relate to, and that won't put you to sleep. Say if you're unhappy and you're trying to make yourself go back to the way you normally are, I'd recommend Happy by Leona Lewis. And if you're like <clears throat> more sad than you are, I'd recommend What a Catch Johnny by Fall Out Boy. I would recommend it. Or say if something terrible has happened in your life, like a death, I'd recommend Cancer by My Chemical Romance. Because I've lost somebody to that horrid disease. But. Anywho. It's something. In life that can make everything a bit unusual. Um. with romance can be part of the mother stage is that every couple I see at school I'm thinking to myself are they gonna make a good mother one day if they're still together or not I don't really know to tell you the truth I really don't know I can tell by what, the way they act, the way they, I mean, just by their personality, I can tell, and they might not make a very fit person to become the mom role when they, when they go older. It's just, I might, I might not be that one day, or, it's just, it, I just, It's, uh, it's just complicated. Yep, that song explained it perfectly. Anything else to add? I don't really know. I'm just gonna film. Look at this. There's my red blanket right there. It's got my name on it. It was given to me by my Grammy. It's the most softest blanket ever. I hate being all this emotional, but I get to see her tomorrow, I rarely get to see her. So, this is one moment I'm not going to cherish eternally. Marriage is one you'll cherish eternally. And... It's just, I don't know what tomorrow will bring for me, but I hope it'll bring something interesting to the table. Because past Mother's Day's, past Mother, past Mother Day, as the Mother's Day party my family hosts every year, some of them usually end up pretty good or not so Good, not so good either. We had one where it was perfectly normal during the day, then we had a windstorm later on and knocked our power out. I remember that very well. And it's and having a person throwing up at the food you eat just because they don't like it. 
It's unacceptable. And a certain person telling you to turn off the video games because they just want to sleep. It doesn't work like that. If the kids want to finish the video game, they can. The person can just go somewhere else and sleep. There's other places in the house that they can sleep at. And same with the person not liking the person's food because they're a vegetarian. And they throw about it because they see how horrified it looks. It just doesn't seem, it wouldn't seem right at all. And the windstorm. Power outages are not a good, not a good sign for, for it happening. <sighs> I can almost lose it right now. It's just, this is one of my most emotional reflection day, reflections I've ever done. Usually I'm all happy-go-lucky, but, because it's getting close to me sleeping, I, I, but I really don't want to sleep because I want to see the SNL with Betty White tonight. I'm not so sure if I'm going to get to see that or not. Even though Betty White is pretty hilarious now that she's got a new movie coming out. I forgot what the movie was, but okay. So. The music suggestion, dealing with uh, emotional problems, it would most help. And. What else? What else? What else do I have to add? There's, like, say you're at a party and your friend is constantly around her boyfriend the entire time and they're showing way too much affection, like, they hug each other too much and they kiss each other too much and they poke each other too much, well, I wouldn't, yeah, but, and then, what would you do in this kind of situation that if that's what your best friend was doing the entire time? And not paying any 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 attention to you, well, just don't be an attention person, an attention giving person to this. Cause what I'm saying about the situation, I can kind of relate to. I don't like people that just ignore me and just go focus on something else. I like them. I would like them to focus on something else other than that person. They need to focus on what's around them and not what's around, what's near them. What's behind them is not going to become new or anything like that. It's just... Oh my gosh, it's just not... Oh. I didn't realize how long of a video I took being all emotional like this. Well, I'm going to end the story here. What you cannot say and what you cannot do may not end up coming true. Let's see.